Tonight, dozens of people came out to say not only not in my backyard, but not in our county. They are against a huge proposed natural gas compressor that's being built in Jolton. News Channel 5's Todd Walker is just back from the meeting, and Todd, opponents of the project were actually urging council members to vote yes. Yeah, Rory, the bill they were speaking out about would actually ban these types of developments anywhere in the county except for in industrial areas. The people against this proposed site say it is too dangerous and too close to homes and to parks. Do it not for Jolton. And don't do it because I asked you. Do it because you were elected by your constituents, and I can guarantee you your constituents don't want it in their backyard no more than we want it in ours. The people who wanted these types of gas compressors banished to industrial areas only were easy to pick out in their bright yellow shirts. Jolton is right along Tennessee Gas Pipeline, Com gas Pipeline Company's line, and it owns the property it wants to build on. People from not only Jolton, but several from across the county came to speak against the project and urge council members to vote for the bill. The only people in opposition of that bill were representatives of the company itself, and an attorney for Tennessee Gas Pipeline said this ban wouldn't mean a thing. It's up to the federal government to okay the project. If it is, FERC will issue a certificate of convenience and necessity. This certificate trumps, for lack of a better word, all other local restrictions including those contained in this bill. Now, the bill to restrict projects like this to industrial areas only was voted forward tonight unanimously. It faces one more vote before it becomes law, and then Rory at that point would likely be the subject of a lawsuit. Todd, thanks. Council members also moved forward with plans to redevelop the Bordeaux area and to transform Casey Place homes into a mixed-use, mixed-income site. Both of those bills also face one more vote.